Boys, what is going on lads and welcome back to another review, the third review of the day. We've done Ruben Diaz and we have done, it just completely slipped my mind, we've done Jonathan David. So now we have got Bastoni and we're probably going to do a couple more after this as well. I want to try to get as much reviews out as I can for you guys. So let me know down below, probably in the 500,000 coin price range, what other future stars you would like to see reviewed. But like I said today, we've got Alessandro Bastoni, Serie A, Italian League centre back and boys probably the best center back in my opinion in the Serie A there's not much options because if you go to the Italian league or the Serie A go to center back you have uh, left with Koulibaly Chiellini is not really usable and Bastoni so really it's Bastoni and Koulibaly the best ones Koulibaly is like 600k of a minute as well Rob Magnoli is a good shout but still Bastoni and Koulibaly in my opinion are both levels above Rob Magnoli but honestly boys I am very looking forward to trying out this card we've chucked a shadow on him so he is going to be 90 pace in game but if we get into this review if you guys are new a sub and like does go a long way with smashing these reviews out playing champs and all of that and playing champs at 10 30 in the morning on no sleep is horrific but hey we're doing it for the content so without further ado boys let's get into it starting off six foot three he's got medium medium he is left footed so he's a left footed center back which i didn't know uh two start three start not that that matters and like i said with that pace boost 80 pace by itself is exceptional for a center back so he goes to 90 in game i just used ruben diaz and i he was 76 pace and i thought to myself 600,000 coins for Ruben Diaz, and he had 76 pace. He, his defending, physical, passing, that was exceptional. But for 600k, I don't want to pay that for Ruben Diaz when he's got 76 pace. So, Bastoni, 80 pace, 350k. His defending and physical, obviously his physical is not as good. His defending is a tiny bit worse. His agility and balance is actually better than Diaz's. Honestly, I'd pr it depends how he is in game, but of course, if I had to choose... 350k for Bastoni, 600k for DS. I would probably lean towards Bastoni here because he looks like a brilliant card. And if he was in the Premier League, obviously DS does have that Premier League tax, but he's going to be much more expensive. I'm going to stop rambling, but for example, just imagine this card in the Premier League. Just keep that in mind. How much do you reckon he would be? So Bastoni, like I said, 350k, 80 pace going to 90 in game. His short passing and long passing of 80 and 78 will hold up very good. And his dribbling. I like this with a centre back. 72 agility, 76 balance, 88 reactions, 85 composure. He can get out of some very sticky situations very nicely. He's six foot three as well, so the amount of agility and balance he has, considering he, his height, is absolutely exceptional. With a shadow as well, he goes to 97 interceptions, 90 heading accuracy, 93 awareness, 97 stand tackle, and 99 slide tackle. He's got 82 stamina. 80 strength isn't insane, but he does have that 93 aggression. So going into challenges, it will be absolutely brilliant with him. Player traits, he does not have any player traits, sadly. So we are using him in this lineup, and we are actually... It's a brilliant team, by the way. I'm very happy with this team. But we're actually going to be using him as a left center back. So if, if you guys don't know, with a 5-3-2, people label it as a toxic formation. So defensive... I don't really go defensive much. We usually start off defense for the first 10 minutes, and then we will switch to attacking in-game. So what we're going to do is we're going to have Bastoni on the far left, Boateng in the middle, and Desai on the right. As for instructions, you guys can see the instructions there, but we do have both the fullbacks on join the attack and overlap. So that will be very helpful, because Bastoni can probably ping the balls down to Roberto Carlos and try to hit a counter on the wing that way. Without further ado, boys, let's get into the review. Is he worth it? Right, boys, here we go. The team we'll be facing 34 ping not great so boys the team we'll be facing he's got Henderson and Pogba in the midfield and Ferd Ferd Ferdinandinho Ferd Fernandinho at the back a team we really should be beating if I don't beat this team there's something wrong with me lads where's Bastoni there he is Bastoni dude for six foot three oh, that agility and balance wow okay yeah no I'm loving that I am very loving that Roberto Carlos time now is he actually onside. I think I've stayed onside there. Oh, I wasn't even paying attention. I was looking at the flag the whole time. So he does great to keep it in. Right, out to best only my opponent. Fair play to him. But with the team he has, he's not he's not a bad player. Right, best only. Okay. Here, honestly, 38 minutes in, he hasn't had much to do. What are we going to do here against Aubameyang? Bastoni, oh, beautiful tackle. Dude, just surrounding Aubameyang. Keep in mind, Oba is 6'2". Bastoni, 6'3". 
towering over him, jockeying, was re jockeying him for uh, R2, L2, very, very smooth with him, obviously due to his good agility, due to his good balance, absolutely huge, man, honestly. He's going into the half, as I said, Bastoni's only had that one little bit to do with Aubameyang, and the reason I was like, wow, is because pace caught up to Aubameyang easily, six foot three, he was hovering over Aubameyang, his agility and balance when I was holding both triggers, he was really jockeying smooth, like marking very, very smooth, um, and obviously that's due to his agility, due to his balance, but so far, he's made that massive tackle against Aubameyang just then, and he's done some passes, we are dominating position wise, we obviously deserve a goal, so uh, I actually forgot to go attacking, so we're going to go attacking, and we're actually going to put Bastoni, in the middle. So a left footed middle centre back is fine. Let's try him out in the middle, see if he can get some more action. Joshua Kimmich! Oh! Butra. Desai now. What is happening? Fake shot in. That was beautiful from Bruno. That was a, uh, a fake shot cancel. Well deserved lead, that lads. All over him. It deserves to be 2 or 3 0. Well deserved lead. We absolutely destroyed that keeper there, which is some really nice play from Bruno, but well deserved, boys. Bastoni. Once again, that's a really good pass. I'm loving his passing. I actually see on my heat map Roberto Carlos. Hey, it's worth a shot, right? It, it didn't pay off, but it's worth a shot. Come on. Oh, wow. My opponent's made it 1 1. Okay. I've hit the post. Oh, thank you, Butchagrano. Thank you. This game, I should have won freaking 5 0. And I was just going to say, I've hit the post in the 90th minute. Come on, boys. Butchagrano, we take it. I can't believe it was this tight of a call against someone using 64 pace. A Ferdinand, Fer, keep saying Ferdinand, Fernandinho on what? 6 chem. It was a close call, but we did come out of it alive. Boys, Bastoni, beautiful card. I honestly really did like him. A 6.3, come on, EA. A 1 out of 1 tackle, 7 out of 7 dribbles, 10 out of 12 passes. That's like a 95% win rate in everything he did. Yet EA still decide to give him that lower rating. It's just centre-backs in general. For example, Roberto Carlos, Semedo, Desai, because they didn't have too much of a ball. Didn't get incredibly high ratings. But Bastoni, boys, a lot of stuff to take away from this. Now... This card was absolutely exceptional. I love this card. I loved the centre back. At left footed as well. So if you like playing your left footed centre backs, use them on the left side and they'll do absolute bits. I honestly, I changed him to central centre back and it didn't change in game. So we kept him at left centre back. And his passing, his passing game to Roberto Carlos was honestly sensational, lads. He was always passing up. The, the link between him and Roberto Carlos was just next level. I saw Roberto Carlos obviously with overlap and stay forward. He kind of pushed up almost as if he was a winger with Best only pinging the balls down to him and I feel like that's where his passes came from 10 out of 12 passes and obviously one or two of them was what you guys saw that uh the long balls that obviously did get intercepted but Bastoni as well especially going into tackles he is insane he's six foot three and that instance at the beginning with Aubameyang was honestly phenomenal from Bastoni like not only was he smooth, like, he just felt smooth jockeying, because obviously right trigger, left trigger, he's very agile, got some great balance, he felt smooth, and like I said, his pace, he got back very fast, his passing is very good for a centre back, like what, 80 pass, 80? 80 short passing, 80 long passing, but with Aubameyang that tackle, just going into the challenge, he was just hovering over him, he's huge, you feel comfortable going into challenges with him, I guess you could say, and like like I said, his best position would be on the left side or the centre, but I'd probably recommend the left, because he is left footed, so boys, overall, as I've said, the pros is his work rates, it's his agility and balance for a centre back, I love centre backs with the agility and honestly reasonable agility and balance, and he had that exactly. So for me, agility and balance is probably one of the best pros because if uh, compared with Boateng and Desai, they're tanks. They're like six foot three, six foot four, sixty balance. And then you've got Bastoni, who's also six foot three, but he's seventy two agility and like seventy six balance. So it's really nice to have that type of centre back paired up with a stronger, taller, or bulkier centre backs as well. So that is what I like with him. His body type was different as well. He wasn't really chunky as a centre back, like a Boateng type of chunky. He kind of was quite tall and skinny to be honest, but the thing is, he's got the strength to back it up. He's got the long legs to stretch out his blocks, his AI blocks as well, I did notice, were phenomenal. So boys, overall, considering he's 350k, 
I liked him more than 600,000 coin Ruben Diaz. So that tells you something. For me, the rating out of 10 is going to be a 9.5. And, and that's a really high rating for me. Especially considering the Serie A defenders, right? The Serie A centre-backs, you're very limited. It's him or Koulibaly. He's got three more pace. Koulibaly's way better defending and physical. But Bastoni really does win in that dribbling aspect. And like I said, agility and balance isn't a huge deal as a centre-back, but it does really, really benefit you if you do have a more agile centre-back paired with a player like Boateng, a player like Desai. So for me, boys, I absolutely love this card. He's unique, six foot three, got the strength. I believe his work rates are solid, high, high medium, medium high, and like he worked very well in a 5-3-2, pinging the balls down to Roberto Carlos. So overall, boys, rating out of 10, a 9 out of 5. It's been your boy Davis. Hopefully this review did help you out. Remember, if you are new as well, a like and sub does go a long way. Let me know what else you want to see me review. Until next time, boys, I'll see you later. Peace out, guys.